stuff changes a little bit when you get him everything. Like, I'm, I'm not too worried about, like, um, is, you know, be a little bit more, like, bigger block, you know. So not included in our daily block, or, like, to bring in viewers and bring in eyes. And I figure if you... That's good. Can you add to that, Ken? So more know? like the family the stuff. Family so we're doing stuff. I'm okay side. with that. And cool. So. Good. Great. He was very nice because she listened to my some of my ghost stories. <laughs> For me, was interviewing Kino Kid. One of the reasons I got the idea to do that is because when I had reached a thousand subscribers, Alan from Las Vegas and Beyond uh, interviewed me on our trip to Goldfield. So that was a real treat for me. Uh, gave me even more exposure, and uh, but it was just neat to be interviewed. And so I kind of wanted to pay that forward for Kino Kid, who has, in the last year, just exploded. I mean, I think he reached over a thousand subscribers in less than a year. So he and Candy both have these infectious personalities where you want to hang out with them, and you know, and, and they, they sort of make you feel like you're doing that through their videos. So they, they'll go through Vegas, they'll go through a day, and you get to hang out with the Kinos. And that's pretty good because who wouldn't want to hang out with the Kinos? So it's up at the Cosmo. You would think there wouldn't be much noise way up there off the strip. But it's a beautiful setting. But there is noise. Uh, I'll do the, my best to edit what I can to fix that. But his points that he makes comes through and that's what's important. I'm going to interview one of the up and coming stars in on YouTube. I mean, to watch him grow in the last three or four months has been miraculous. And I'm talking about Kino Kid. And so I've got a few questions I'm going to ask him. So first thing I want to know, Kino, is well, just, first, just tell us a little bit about yourself. You don't have to reveal anything because I know sometimes we try to keep some stuff private. And then I'm going to ask you like five questions okay. just so people can get to know who you are. All right. So just tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name... <laughs> don't tell us your... You can tell us your real name. My name right. is Andy Goodspeed. No, there you go. No, okay. <laughs> my name... Well, my channel is Kino Kid. Me and my girlfriend Candy. Uh, we st we uh, we started the channel about ten months ago. Okay. So and uh, we went from like four subscribers. We just went over a thousand a few weeks ago. So I mean, I'm just your normal dude who decided at the beginning of the pandemic, probably like a lot of people, to just hey, you know what? Let me start, you know, vlogging. You know. So, awesome. Awesome. So, so that's kind of like me. The way I started is, uh, I thought, you know, I can, I can do this. I was going to come to Vegas, and I looked at videos, and thought, you know, I can, I can do Vegas. So my, my first question to you, Kino, is this: What inspired you to become a YouTuber? Basically, like a lot of people, I during. You know, at the beginning of the pandemic when Vegas is shut down, um, like I had always watched a lot of slot channels, like Brian Christopher, um, Diana Vani, but I really got into the YouTube, like vlogging, um, watching those type of guys at the beginning of last year. Um, I found a couple channels, uh, shout out to Pennies for Vegas and Hog and Two Cent, and I started watching kind of some of theirs. Um, and that's kind of where I got 
into you know thinking oh that'd be cool you know i like watching like the couples go to vegas and just vlog what they're doing throughout their day you know like i didn't think slot challenging would be for me so i thought well if me and my girlfriend candy could go to vegas and just kind of show what we're doing throughout the day you know just kind of let people come along with us mm -hmm. you know um i thought that would be a good way to do it and those are the type of channels that i would watch people that just kind of vlog their day put it together and it was like you knew what they were doing throughout the day and then the next day would start then you'd have it the next day with them so that's, that's awesome. pretty much got what got me started yeah so the next question right. was going to be what do you think was your best video and why what do i think my best video was well look it's the other <laughs> it's the other more important better looking part of the channel it's candy what do you think our best video uh, would be I, or, or our favorite video I think my my favorite videos are different, definitely different than yours. Um, I like the ones where I just come out here and enjoy. Like um, the one video I really really liked is me and me and Jason dancing, just having fun. Like he is my vlog right there. Yeah, that he good. is one of my best friends, and just being able to just come up here and just not worry about life and just enjoy. so stuff that we're just catching naturally so you're saying exactly. like you just know stuff when we come up here you don't know what's going to happen up here and you just capture it you put it there i think yeah i think that's that the important thing video is being is awesome. real i think it was december real and authentic and genuine that, yeah. because that draws that stuff people you don't in. think it's not like we're like hey we're gonna go film here on the balcony no they're yeah, inside yeah. the music's going and you we're know like, oh, you catch, film, you you catch know? clips like that throughout the day yeah yeah, yeah. so i think like yeah the, stuff like that like i think that like i think that like our more recent stuff, I like a lot better, um, only because we've learned to, you know, edit. More, you know, like a little bit more editing. We got an intro, yeah. way better thumbnails. So I'd say anything in the last like month that we put out, you know, our more like our more recent stuff. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, uh, Kino and I uh, look first. I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna just flip this around so people can see what you have tonight for this interview look at that but the question I have for Kino is what is what do you feel is the hardest part about being a youtuber because there's a lot of people that start this and the journey to get to a thousand is pretty tough yeah and they quit right the hardest thing about being a youtuber I probably would say the actual editing because I'm I'm still learning. I'm doing the I'm actually learning how to do the thumbnails. So I feel like it's the editing. Yeah. Yeah. I probably agree because you can go and you can film little snippets throughout the day and have, you know, like all these videos but you gotta go through them. I and like you know, we don't have like super fancy editing or anything like that, but just trying to piece it together. I mean, like we leave most things in. Like we don't cut hardly anything out unless it's right. like you know we accidentally film something or it's something you know just something that that I wouldn't want to show, like if somebody on the street or something like that, you know. But yeah, I think putting it together in a way that shows like the flow of the day. Um, we don't go and cut too much stuff in, but we basically yeah, I'd say the editing part. You know, just just trying to put it together so people can see it in the way that. We did it. Not even right. that. Like it's just like and I have the time to. Oh yeah, time. To yeah. have to do Jeez. that because we it's both tough. have full time jobs. Like you know, I'm a full time mom. Yeah. I'm a full time pharmacy technician. So mm -hmm. YouTube is a hobby. It is. <laughs> like yes. you know, I mean, but you know, it, we it, do it, it, but it's fun. It becomes hobby. a job, and I think for you guys, you you want to keep it real. Yeah. We so, keep it real. Keep so it when you when you, you edit it, us, you still keep it real. That's yeah, the exactly. thing. So that's good. So my, my next question is, what do you plan on bringing next to YouTube? Are you going to be consistent what, with what you've been doing? Or are you going to try something new? Just for your fans, you know, what's on the horizon? Okay, um, for me, let me answer first, then you give your answers. Okay. For me, I would say, um, 
I think stuff changes a little bit when you get to a thousand subscribers and you get monetized. Um, like we still put out the same vlogs, the same everything. Like I'm, I'm not too worried about like copyright stuff on my vlogs or anything like that. What I'd like to do more of um, is, you know, be a little bit more like multi-dimensional and fill more like slot play, not just like do lives, but film separate slot play and separate, you know, maybe like little food reviews or maybe um, separate stuff that we do on our day that we can put together in like a bigger vlog, you know. So not included in our daily vlog, or like, you know, the daily vlog, we can be like, hey, we went to Red Rock. Hey, show a little snippets, but then actually have vlogs that show that particular thing. Because I think that would appeal to more, you know, hey, we went to Red Rock, or, or you know, hey, we went to Valley of Fire, you know, or, hey, we played this particular slot machine, because I know that that stuff really helps, you know, bring in viewers and bring in eyes. And I figure if you can bring slot stuff and this stuff or food stuff, you know, you bring in a bunch of different subscribers and we're a lot more multi-dimensional, so we don't, you know, pigeonhole ourselves in to one particular thing. So. That's good. Can what you, you add to that, Candy? Yeah, and I feel that, like you said, like different things, especially since this is our playland. This is like, this is our city. We love things. We love our vacations. But also, I enjoy us vlogging everywhere else we go. Like, I love putting my children in it. Like, I'm okay with that, putting because they're teenagers, putting them in it, putting them at, like we did the um, Monterey one. So more of like the family the stuff. Family stuff. Doing I'm okay side. with that. And then, like, we, I'm going back to the editing, like being able to edit, put music in, and learning all of this um, creative stuff that I've never heard before. I've never been a person that um, sat there on the computer and knew how to do all the creativity mm -hmm. stuff that people do. So I do want to learn that so I can go into and be that person for my channel. Cool. So. Good. Great goals. Okay. Now my final question, and I will say I really appreciate you guys taking the time to to uh, interview, let me interview you and ask these questions. And the last one is, what was your favorite time in Las Vegas? Because y'all have spent a lot of time here. With me, I'm a newbie when it comes to, to this whole Las Vegas world. Um, I have, he showed me it and we just flung with it. Like we connect so well together as a whole mm -hmm. when it comes to CV or when it comes to like Las Vegas and everything. So I would say my favorite time is my, my birthday. Like staying at the Nomad, we stayed at the Nomad and it was a beautiful suite. And then we had a birthday dinner that was awesome at the Nomad uh, restaurant. It's like, it, it was like, um, what's it called? It's like a library. It looks like a library. It's dark, it's beautiful, and their food was amazing. I've never, that was the first time that I touched oysters. You know, I've never had them before. Like, just learning these new things that I can eat. Um, just spending time together. Like, that's cool. It, it was amazing. That is a, that's oh, great. Oh, not only that, we did watch the Bill Magro and he, they were amazing. You know, it was, they were good. They were really good. So. The pressure's on me, huh? Yeah. Like, I, like, I like, guys, I just don't know if I get nailed down, like, one particular time. It's because it's been but, here Well, no, but my favorite times to come here, like, you, like, since we're talking about YouTube, is... Um, I like coming up here, kind of what we're here for now, to come up here, like, my favorite times is when I can meet other people. Like, mm -hmm. that to me is exciting. Like, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, our whole thing is, you know, we sneak up on people. We keynote people. You know, we sneak up on people we haven't met. Like, I love doing that. But even people that, that we do know, that we have met before. You know, like, I like coming up here and spending time with people who share the same you know love for vegas you know all of my closest friends of last year are people that do this youtube thing you know so so i guess my my broad answer would be 
Anytime I can come up here and spend time with other people that like to do the same thing I do. So other people that enjoy it, other vloggers, other slot channels, other people that just like that just love Vegas. You know, I like doing that and I like capturing that. Mm -hmm. And I like capturing those moments with those people. Yeah. Because then, you know, you even if you haven't met them, you think you, like you know them and then you meet them and they wildly exceed your expectations all the time. And that, that is so. the truth. Yeah. That is the truth. But Hey, there's Tim, Candy, Kino Kid. Love you guys and continue to grow. They're going to pass me up pretty soon. Oh, man, come on. They're going to pass me up. <laughs> well, we appreciate it, Walter. Thank you very They're much for interviewing us. It, job, it, it yeah. was fun doing it. We appreciate yeah. it. Awesome. Y'all did a great job. Thank you.